Hello everybody and welcome back to Rebellious Menstruation. Today we're revisiting Ever Ego. I did a review of them a while ago and I'll, um, I actually have a multitude of their products. But specifically today we'll be looking at these uh, tumblers, which are these big ones here. And um, I use them basically on a daily basis um, and as they transport my breakfast smoothie to work, um, I make my own smoothie because I can tailor make it to my own taste. Essentially I make an up and go but I find up and go tastes kind of gross. Um, however I have hit a slight snag in this. Um, so this broke. This is actually, as you can see, that this little bit has broken off. Um, and from the lid, so and these are cracked in here. I do have two, so I have a big and a small in rows, and I have a big and a small in sage, um, which is why I have two lids. This one here is this is really loose. Um, I basically have to put blue tack here to keep it closed. And if you can see here, I'm not sure if you can or not, it's cracking and basically falling out in this bit here. So these bits aren't staining. It's probably why it's loose. It's even cracking where that little circle is. So um, that crack, both of these cracks go um, all the way through. And this crack here goes um, all the way to this mouthpiece. Um, so I've had one break um, completely by losing that little plastic clip. And this one is well on its way to well on its way to snapping as well. Um, so I've ordered more, which are these ones here. And these ones here actually match the smaller lid here. Um, if you can see, so that's the smaller lid. So now this more easily resembles this. But of course the reason why these have uh, snapped been due to as I take them apart. Um, this little bit snapped out and usually um, I basically need to remove this sliding bit um, because of smoothie debris that gets caught in this bit here. Um, so in this bit, well, obviously because it's in my bag or it's in my hand when I go to and from work um, and helicopter in the background of course. Um, and so this, and especially with this one because it's open and, and I need to clip it closed, it's quite often milkshake gets up in into the top of this section through the mouth hole. Um, you do not want to leave fruit debris to harden and dry, um, otherwise it's impossible to scrub off. Um, still, if you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen the produce bags that I ice dyed. Um, I also have cups and straws, um, like these straws here. Um, these tumblers basically, as I said, are so my smoothie doesn't get all separated or gross on the, because um, it can take me over an hour to get to work. I usually have three different types of fruit, one brick of multigrain, uh, wheat mix, turmeric, vanilla, peppermint, hemp oil, apple cider vinegar and maca milk. Um, however, these lids, obviously, as I just um, showed, are broken. Um, and being that these are plastic, it is exceptionally frustrating. Um, and so, but that of course meant that to continue using this as a transported, um, or as a transporter for my milkshake, I had to order new steel plastic lids. Um, and even though the design is different, um, the lids on these ones here um, aren't broken, but also I don't tend to take them apart so often. I do tend to take, drink more, um, liquid in it and drink more smoothies in this one um, it is very frustrating to have to replace them with more plastic under a year the whole point is to try and reduce uh, plastic waste and basically this means I haven't done it um, so um, the lids obviously as I said match the smaller size tumblers I'm unsure of how long these will be lasting because I haven't really used the smaller tumblers in the same way that I've used the bigger tumblers um, for my smoothies. Um, but I guess, I mean, obviously all I can do is give them a go. Um, and uh, 
these do keep sm my smoothies cold and good until I get to work. Um, and I've had tea burn my mouth three hours after making um, hot tea in them. Um, and then went to a meeting and forgot that I had tea. Um, I like these and I like these products. Um, but I do not like the unnecessary waste, which is, um, you know, initially why I bought them is to prevent unnecessary waste. Um, as previously mentioned, I do have several items from Over Eco, um, and I do like most of their stuff um, that I have. Probably um, the product that I like the least is the bento box, um, because it's a really impractical object to have. Because uh, you wouldn't use it at home necessarily. You wouldn't make a bento box at home or I wouldn't make a bento box at home. I would make a bento box to take to work, but it is leak proof and the lid comes off. It, no, wait, I'll press that. It, um, it is not leak proof and the lid just comes off. Um, so unless you have it like sealed in its own wrapper and then like to, or rubber banded, um, which kind of defeats the purpose of having a reusable bento box is it. Um, you can't have any type of sauce or liquid in the bento box either because it um, essentially, even internal, the bento box is not leak proof. So it means that any liquid in one of the sections will go into another section. I usually use this for cut up vegetables and I put cut up vegetables for my morning snack in there. Um, and then essentially rubber band it shut and then put it in my lunchbox and then take it to work. Um, but that's probably my least favourite object because it's completely and utterly impractical for um what it should be used for which is transporting food around um and even if you were out on the go and that was the thing that you had with you you would still have to get a rubber band and put that on or a hair or a hair tie or something to keep it closed and even then it would still leak um so i guess i will give you another all another update if anything changes with these lids um, of course, the websites will be linked below as well as Flora and Fauna and Biomi, um, which both are Eka Eco stockists. Um, thanks for watching. Enjoy your morning, afternoon or evening, depending on where you are in the day. And I, of course, will see you all next video. Bye, everyone.